Madera Barber recibimos a diario la visita de grandes luthiers, constructores, incluso grandes marcas. Hace algunos días nos visitó Mike Dickinson, representante de Martin. Vino específicamente a seleccionar personalmente algunos de los exclusivos juegos de Palo Santo de Río que tenemos. Mike ha sido de todo en Martin. Ha empezado en las sierras, ha pasado por la selección de maderas, kits, incluso ahora mismo también se dedica a la compraventa de instrumentos históricos de Martin. Aparte de todo eso, es una bellísima persona. No hace falta que os contemos lo que es Martin y lo que ha supuesto en el mundo de la guitarra acústica. Son los padres de gran multitud de modelos y de muchas innovaciones. Tuvimos la suerte de poder hacerle una pequeña entrevista y ahora os dejamos con algunos fragmentos. Estamos seguros de que os va a encantar. The term is in the U.S. is going green, okay. uh, and we are very into sustainability. A lot of the woods we purchase, we try to purchase as much FSC material as possible. Uh, even if it costs us a little more, we are willing to pay the extra money to uh, purchase the FSC material. Yes, uh, we trust that. And then we have our uh, third party uh, that actually, am I allowed to give a shout out to Rob? Hi, Rob. <laughs> Uh, Rob works with Forest Space Solutions, yeah. so Rob also goes beyond what FSC does, and he uh, works with me, and I know he works with you guys and some other companies, and, and not only looks at the paperwork, but actually looks at the entire supply chain, for, from visiting the forest yeah. to the shipping containers, back to where it travels through the U.S. Making sure uh, that all the processes, all, all the processes, all the paperwork is filed, all the processes are done. Nobody's, you know. You go to a log yard, you see FSC over there, not FSC. There's no mixing yeah, of materials. Yeah. Um, so that's very important to us. Um, including that, we've also sponsored many projects that are replanting or reforesting places uh, down, mostly uh, some in the United States, uh, some in uh, South America, I believe it was Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and Don't quote me, but I believe it was Honduras also. And I've been there, September will be 33 years. I started out in the sawmill. Uh, then I went over to a, uh, we had a small resale section where we sold guitar parts and kits and lumber, and then bounced around in sales on uh, customer service repair. Uh, And now I'm in the purchasing department and I purchase a lot of antique instruments for the museum. I also purchase wood and plastic and anything that needs to go into a guitar uh, for my guitar. But I got the basic understanding of how the entire process from tree to vintage guitar works. I know it all, yes. What are you planning to do with the uh, Dauber? Negra, the Brazilian rosewood. Okay, so Brazilian rosewood, uh, we, we have since about 1980 had made custom guitars. Yeah. Um, I think it was about 14 or 15 years ago, we actually designed a custom shop where all the guitars are individually built. They don't go through standard production. No um, CNC involved, I'm guessing, right? There is a little CNC yeah. in, the, in the beginning stages, yeah. but the building is done all by hand, uh, little scrapers, machining, planes and all that, yeah. scrapers, planes, chisels, yeah. hide glue if you want high old fashioned hide yeah. glue. Um, the, the old style, right? Yes, and, and now there again, in the custom shop, if you want all new stuff, we will also do all okay. new stuff. If you want new different adhesives, yeah. different inlays, designs. You can do that. We will, uh, the, Unofficial slogan is, if you can dream it, we can build yeah, it, yeah, that's which is, is what we try and do. And, and people want Brazilian rosewood guitars. Yeah. So we're looking into buying the Brazilian rosewood so that when people are designing their dream guitar, something that their favorite artists played in the 30s or the 40s yeah. or the 50s, and they want to copy that, yeah. or they want to make, you know, they sit around and they read, all the newspapers and all the articles and go online and list like the best sounding tone ones, the best yeah, looking guitars, it. the best playing guitars. And they put all those ideas together in their head. Yeah. They will design a guitar and uh, the Brazilian Rosewood in order to build those dream guitars. Yeah. He 
pieces of advice for an up and coming luthier. Yeah. Don't be afraid to try new stuff. Yeah. Whether it's a new tool, it's a new uh, species of wood nobody's ever thought before. Yeah, and, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Mistakes are opportunities, and um, you know if you crack it, glue it back together. Don't throw it away. <laughs> How's that? That's great. Yeah. So thank you, Mike. You're welcome very much.